Hey guys, the objective for this video is just to clarify how we find head in a system like this, okay? I just want to clarify because it can be kind of complex how we actually find head sometimes and a bit confusing. And I also need to clarify a mistake I made in the previous video. In the previous video, I said I put A up there. A needs to be down here. So point A is here and point B is here. And the reason is because that's where the flow actually goes from. It goes from point A to point B. Okay, so that's just a small clarification. Okay, but we're going to now clarify how we find head because it can be quite confusing. So the first thing we need to do, as always, is define a datum. So we're going to put our datum down here. It doesn't matter where you put your datum, you just need to put it in a convenient spot, which is down here for us. Okay, so our datum starts here. Now, head, we can think of in two ways. Okay, we're going to define it in two ways. The first way is we need to ask how high, so how high does water go if we were to stick a standpipe if we were to stick a standpipe how high would the water go above the datum okay it needs to be above the datum so using this method let's go find the head so if we were to stick a standpipe at this point the water would rise up to a point 0 0.5 meters okay because there's no there's no pressure anywhere forcing this water up higher so the height the water would go above the datum would be 0.5 meters, okay? So that's the head at B would be 0.5 meters. 